Welcome back, everybody. Friday means it is time for the Roadie Roundup, and we have an amazing panel here with us this morning. We have Eric Rube, sports writer for the Pro Joe. We have Camilla Akbus, who is an amazing influencer at Shut Up Camilla. Yes. And we have Billy Gilman, who's doing double duty today. It's like <laughs> I'm running around. I don't. I can eat all the pasta I want. I right. lost weight already. That's true. He's gonna be running back to the kitchen right after this. So love having you guys here, Eric. I'm gonna kick it off with you. Right, okay. So go. there's a trend, this huge thing going on right now on TikTok called the Red Flag trend is like this viral thing where you just sit there and three red flags come up that are supposed to be about you. The ones that came up for me aren't exactly, I'm a single supposedly, I don't pay people back and I don't have a job. So three red flags that are not me, but what would be a red flag about yourself you wouldn't mind sharing? All right, my wife would tell you I have a million red flags, which is probably true, but <laughs> the one that sticks out to me is I'm the most unorganized person in the world and I shared this with you backstage. Uh, I had committed to do this yeah. and I was good. Checked the weather last night. I was psyched. Good weather. I'm going to go play golf. Booked my tee time 10 o'clock last night, uh, watching my man Tony P do the weather. Realized, oh man, I forgot to go. I have to do TV and had to cancel my plans. Never can get anything right. Dates, times, I'm a mess. And you're all over the place too at sports events. So. I live day to day. Oh my God. All right, Camilla, what about you? That's um, a red flag. I have something that I call a bougie palette. So even Ooh. though I only can have like one drink <laughs> and I'm done for the night, I could out eat any single one of you, including anyone else. Stop that it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Not. But I like, I swear. Oh, face, 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 I swear. Face, face, That's so depressing. I, so I'm an expensive date. So I would like to say that unfortunately for my boyfriend and his wallet. That's yes. probably my like red flag because I will go and I don't I don't want just one meal. Like I want to try a few things. Right. I want the app. Like, I want the dessert. Example, give everything. me an example of Rhode Island. Like what was your, what's your go-to to be bougie? Okay, like, so when I go to Los Andes or Los yes. Andes, right? So I get my steak. I get the steak with the egg, but I also want a ceviche martini just for myself. He has to have his own. Oh, of Plus I want a side of yuca. Plus I want the dessert, but then also I'm like kind of craving a Stop seafood. Stop it right now. Look so at it's you. Like, wow. I, I want multiple things. You're a foodie. Oh yeah. my God, you are well, well, you are a well, girl. Well, yeah. yeah. That's, that's <laughs> not <laughs> that's, <laughs> As the big guy here, that's, that's not yes. fair. All right, Billy, what's your red flag? Ah, uh, that's up for interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I probably I, I find my I find people getting really annoyed with me when I'm a great texter, but I'm not a great callback person. Okay. So I think our red flag would be you forget to call them back, and it's not intentional. It's unintentional. But that's definitely probably the red flag for me. <laughs> I, I'm kind of like that. And too. I don't mean I to. I'm like with you. like I'll be like on an email, and then they'll call. Be like I'll be right back, and then it's four o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm like, oh no. And that's I, it. And that's it. And so I just. Avoid it until they call back. Oh my God, I well, love it. I am like that as well. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, so a report came out sharing that your fashion sense many times explains who you are as a person or what you're giving out into the world. I should have definitely, I, I, this is why I wore blue today, okay? We didn't blue, get a memo either. I know, but listen, so, uh, so yellow means you're energetic. Mm -hmm. Red means that you're in control, you're fierce. Green means that you're reliable. Blue means you want people to feel comfortable around you. That's why I wore blue today. What do you feel like your fashion sense, whether it's a color you wear or just like a certain and sense that you like, you know, a trend that you like to like be preppy. Like, what do you think your fashion sense says about you? All right. All right. Well, since I look like baby Shrek and I know. have to be here next to the beautiful people, I'm dressing loud so everyone notices. This is my style. This is me. The pastels and bright colors work because I have this beautiful Armenian skin that tans great, so it looks nice on me. And this is how I am: bright, yeah, loud, I love it. a little abrasive. And always and it's like vineyard like vine is too. And it I listen. Good. I've been on Vineyard Vine since before they even had more than two stores. So <laughs> wow. I am in on bright colors and pastels, and this is what I'll wear white after Labor Day. Yes, please. Perfect for Rhode Island. Camilla, what about you? So currently, I'm a little mix of both of them. I feel like I have a little black, I have a little pink. But uh, so I used to only wear black like only ever wear black, black. But then I started doing pageants and that really started to get me out of like my, my style. Yeah. And then ever since uh, I started working with Duncan, I bought all pink and orange stuff. So at this point, so now you're just I like only a wear pink commercial. and orange. So I'm just a it. walking commercial for Duncan. <laughs> and it's it. honor. Honor. Billy, what about you? Because you have to think about performances and being in front of your oh, fans. Yeah. So, there are there are closets that are just strictly show blazers that are mm -hmm. I would never wear out to a gala or something because yeah. they're like all sequined out and they're like <laughs> no. Um, and but honestly, blue is my color, black is my color. But if if I'm not doing a show, you'll find me in athleisure wear. I am just a, chilling. I am a total fan of some comfortable Lululemons or some track pants or I'm that is just. 
that's that's my go-to all the time. I love it. So I have one quick wrap question because I know we're running out of time. But what's one thing in Rhode Island this summer you've never done that you'd love to do? Like I just went to Block Island for the first time. I'm a lifelong Rhode Islander. Same, Billy. Like three, two, two, three years ago, right before COVID, I had never been to Block Island. Yeah. See. What you know? It's crazy. Um, I don't know. Actually, I I, I get around in Rhode Island pretty <laughs> well. Um. Camilla, you have anything? Yeah, to I don't know. That's a great question. So, um, very well versed in Rhode Island in the scene. However, there's one thing I'm a little ashamed of of never visiting, and that's only because I feel like it got torn down when I was younger. But Rocky Point, I've never been oh, to Rocky okay. Point. Okay, it was so my go-to as a kid. I would love to go. <laughs> Makes me feel old. So <laughs> what's there now? What's the, from so they do food just... truck festivals and stuff like that there yeah. too. Then I stand. So, I stand. Stand with her. Rocky I do. Point. We're going Everybody to Rocky, I, Rocky Point. I've Rocky. done Block Island in my 20s, which is much different than Block Island. <laughs> now I want to go with my wife and my kids and kind of have enjoy it and not yes. turn it into what it was when I was in my 20s. Well, it's awesome having all you guys here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, always a great time on Friday with everybody. You can catch this later too on our website, Rocha.com. For now, we're going to kick it over to Brenton.